Hello everypony, it's Lisiana here today or Anna here today with Applejack and as you can see I'm going to react to Solar Pony Where Is It? a fanfic reading random slice of life story and uh, don't worry it's not a club uh, <laughs> even though that yeah I will admit that I'm watching that too but I will not recommend this if you're, you know, not over 18 or you don't like, you know, stuff like that. So don't, this one, uh, this one should be just normal slice of life. So I hope that there's not something too explicit in this part. Elsewise, uh, I can't, I just need to like react to this. Uh, <laughs> Um, as you can see, he all also almost have a thousand subscribers, so I can only wait and see what he is doing. Uh, the only thing I know that is a male and the pony OC down here, that's the only thing I know. I don't know anything else about this uh, channel besides it being a readout of fanfics. Most of the ones that he had is uh, grim, dark, and sad, and that is not my cup of tea. So I was actually trying to find one that was just like normal. So yeah, uh, here we go. Uh, Trek to in. Here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> Where is it? Okay. <laughs> by Majin Saiko. Read by Solo. Hmm. Come in. Celestia said in response to the knock that came from the door of her bedchambers. The door slowly opened to reveal Luna, who quietly oh. closed it behind her. Luna looked up and smiled. Hello, sister. Hello yourself. Celestia gestured towards the table with two empty cups and a tea kettle. I was wondering why you chose to speak with me at this point in time. <laughs> she sat down at one end of the table and filled her cup with steaming water. Oh. Luna She's giggled and sat tea. across the table from her sister. You know, just to catch up and stuff. Can you <laughs> pour me a cup of tea, please? Celestia raised an eyebrow. I don't see why you can't pour it yourself if your magic is in full working order, mm. but anything for family. She poured out Luna's cup, then placed a tea bag in each cup to let them steep. So, how are we? We are fine, I guess. No, we've just. Who are you? Well. Celestia asked. Yeah. Whatever do you mean, dear sis? Celestia glared at Luna. Cut the small talk. What do you want? Luna sighed, then flashed green. Queen Chrysalis flipped the table and lurched towards Celestia. Okay. Where's my money? Your money? Celestia said as she backed away. The two circled each other like wild cats moving in for the kill. Okay. I paid you. Chrysalis growled. You paid me half. Where's the rest of it? Well, you were so hard to find after that blast of love, I just gave up looking after a while. Celestia grimaced. A changeling that doesn't want to be found is incredibly hard to locate. Mm -hmm. That's called suffering for your art. And performance art of that caliber doesn't come cheap. <laughs> Chrysalis sneered as she moved in closer to Celestia. I masqueraded as your niece, took over Canterlot, Tartarus, I even wrote my own songs! <laughs> Celestia tiptoed away. The contract technically stated that I was supposed to defeat you, not my niece. You should be lucky you still have that half. Oh. Chrysalis pounced at Celestia, who artfully dodged. I was in the zone! <laughs> you can't fault me for a show that doesn't go exactly as planned! That's true. Chrysalis paused and took a deep breath. It's almost like you don't understand the spontaneity of my craft at all. Hmm. Celestia stopped as well. You're right. I don't understand the spontaneity of you felling me and emasculating my royal guard. <laughs> you don't understand spontaneity much at... Chrysalis started before she glowered at Celestia. What was that word you said? Celestia raised an eyebrow. What? You mean felled? I suppose it is a rather archaic word, but I assure you, I used it correctly. No, not that! Celestia hummed. 
Hmm, I'm pretty sure you understand the word royal, being a queen and all. Mm. Or was it guard you had trouble with? Don't play coy with me, you walking water distortion! That's a rather <laughs> grandiloquent phrasing of the word rainbow you pulled out that of- That can infusion of letters emasculate! Chrysalis stomp to hoof. That's not a word! Celestia shook her head. Queen Chrysalis, I assure you, on my honor as Princess of Equestria, that mm. emasculate is a word. Chrysalis mm. grunted and trotted towards Celestia. Mm -hmm. Your honor is worthless, seeing as you haven't paid me yet. Yeah, that's true. Chrysalis sat down and pressed her hooves into her eyes. You can't just take a perfectly serviceable word, cram a pony or horse pun in there, and declare it an equestrian word. That's <laughs> not how language works. Aww. A golden glow surrounded a rather large book from Celestia's bookcase and placed it in front of Chrysalis. It's been a word for longer than everyone, except a scant few in this city, have been alive. See for yourself. Mm -hmm. Chrysalis groaned as she flipped through the dictionary. Fine, but if it isn't in here, you're writing me a check right now. I don't see what use a check would have for a wanted- SILENCE! <laughs> Chrysalis rifled through the dictionary. Let's see here. B, B, M, B, M, A, B, M, A, B, M, A, B, M, A. Chrysalis then hummed. What do you know? Immersculate. Hey, Celestia, I'm sorry, I- Chrysalis looked up just in time to see the door to Celestia's bedchamber shut. Chrysalis stood up, inhaled sharply, then paced around. It's okay, Chrissy. She's probably just getting the money. It's no Aww. biggie. Just wait patiently. She's a mare of her word. Minutes felt like hours as Chrysalis paced around Celestia's bedroom. She was sure she'd come back. Her performance mm -hmm. art troupe was admittedly doing well off the initial deposit, but a promise was a promise even if you were unexpectedly emasculated. Hmm. Chrysalis was feeling rather emasculated right now, in fact. If she knew Celestia's ego was so easily bruisable, she never would have agreed to the job. Oh, that's true. She asked for a wedding Cantalot would never forget, and by Chrysalis's good name, that was exactly what they got. That's even true. Even if Celestia was dodging payment. There was a knock at the door. Who is it? Chrysalis asked in Celestia's voice. Can it bug me? This is the Royal Guard, here to arrest you. Come out and do not resist. Chrysalis inhaled, then exhaled, <sighs> then counted to three, then hurled herself through the door, knocking out two guards. Yeah. The other three were dispatched easily through precisely targeted magic blasts. She sniffed, then ran in the direction of Celestia's pheromones, the trail ending at a balcony. On the balcony was a note. Chrysalis picked up the note and read it. I'll get you your money. I don't have it right now due to infrastructure repairs that you caused. That's the consequence of suffering for your art. See. Chrysalis growled at the sky as the corners of her mouth turned down. You just don't understand that true art requires sacrifices! <laughs> Chrysalis screamed into the sky. Well... I expect my money! What is all this about money? Chrysalis's heart turned to ice. Tyrus, it's Luna. Chrysalis took off into the sky, turning into Celestia just as Luna rounded the corner. If you need money, I have... Luna said before trailing off, looking at who was supposedly her sister take off into the sky. <laughs> Luna sighed. The pride of that one. She said before walking back into the castle. Yeah. She should have listened to Luna and got the money from her. <laughs> that was good. That was fun. Yay. <laughs> okay, uh, no, uh, we can't see this because I'm trying to be a filtered uh, reactor or how to say that so not reacting to um, this one even though that it's good I really like uh, Wing T Spears actually <laughs> I'm a big fan of his 
But um, back again to Solar Pony, I really do feel like he's doing a good job with this. Um, I like the different voices that they have, uh, Chrysalis' uh, voice and uh, Celestia's voice. Uh, I know that he said that there was going to be links in the description, so maybe we can... Yeah, original story and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to sub subscribe and like this and tweet it and Google Plus it as I'm used to doing. But uh, I really do feel like this was a good job. Now, I know it's very hard for uh, voice actors to actually do this. And there's not a lot of ponies that are doing actually these um, fanfic reading outs. I think I know of Snogwits that is also doing stuff like this, but I haven't like seen, um, yeah, more of this, but I'll, I'll show you what he is doing and why I didn't like take uh, other videos. Okay. It's not because I'm picky, it's just like most of the fanfic readings are sad or, um, yeah, uh, it, it's just not my, well, there's the blank job that was a comedy, but yeah, okay. Um, I feel like this one was actually very good for me to react to because I feel like this is a story that I actually like. Uh, but see here, it's uh, sad or, you know, slice of life again. I'm, I'm not quite sure about this because of the, you know, pin. It seems like it's sad. So I, this one was more like a safe bet for me or how to say that. So I don't know if uh, you're taking it personally, but I really like the, um, the OC, his OC design. I'm going to see this uh, Q&A after I'm done with this um, reaction and uh, yeah I'm I'm actually thinking that I'm going to watch some of the other ones as well and uh, now that I know what he is uh, doing uh, the sad fix or the you know grim dark ones is not something for me so I will probably not see those, but the other ones I will see. And if I like them, I'm going to tweet and goggle plus them as well. But I definitely feel like he's uh, worth more subscribers and more worth more likes. So uh, that is actually all that I have to say for today. So do remember that inspiration is right around the corner. Do remember to take care of yourself and loved ones. And that is actually all. Yeah, okay, bye.